A powerful group of corporations and banks here in North Carolina are about to start their own venture capital fund, but they're not using their own money. Republicans in our state legislature are funding them with half a billion dollars of our taxes. That is billion with a B. The group is called NC Innovation and is led by a small group of banking, pharmaceutical, and venture capital executives from around North Carolina, including some university leaders. Together, this group made the following pitch to Republican leaders. You give us $1.4 billion and we'll put that in an endowment to fund and commercialize late stage technologies coming out of North Carolina universities to spin off profitable startups. To sell this plan, NC Innovation hired nine Nine registered lobbyists and started working Republican leaders of our legislature. Republicans in our state Senate wanted to give NC Innovation the full $1.4 billion, and Republican leaders in the state House wanted to give it a lot less, and they compromised at $500 million. Half a billion dollars. These are the same guys who say there's not enough money for teacher raises. As usual, Democrats weren't really relevant here because they're in the minority and don't have any way to influence any of this. Now, the idea of taxpayers funding basic technology R&D goes back a long, long way. Government funding is why we have things like supercomputers and GPS and LED lights and Velcro and Al Gore's internet. Both Google and Tesla were made possible by government technology grants in their early days. There's legitimately a big gray zone between where grant-funded technology R&D stops and traditional commercial venture capital begins. But the NC Innovation Plan itself is filled with red flags. For starters, they don't have to report who they funded or why. NC Innovation's books will not be open to the public, and because Republicans gutted our state's public records law last year, any involvement politicians have with this gigantic slush fund will be kept completely secret. Taxpayers won't even get an equity stake in exchange for these investments, so all losses will be borne by taxpayers while all gains will be privatized. Unlike traditional economic incentives, NC Innovation grants will not be tied to any accountability metrics, no required jobs created or anything like that. We'll just have to trust that whoever Republicans appoint to NC Innovation's board try to do their best. That board, by the way, has hired 13 full-time staff, given them big bonuses already, spent a quarter million dollars on lobbying, and has made a grand total of zero investments so far. But they say they're going to start any day now. Now look, you can't exactly blame a bunch of bank executives for asking the government for hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars with no strings attached and no questions asked, but you can blame the politicians who gave it to them. And it's worth asking what those politicians think they're getting in return.